Alright, so what's up? Abstract back again with the next episode of Angels of Death. When we left off, we just finished the second room. It was a gas chamber. Uh, we escaped. It was a pretty long puzzle. It took me about 25 minutes. Uh, not gonna lie. But anyways, we went through the next door and we just finished resting. And we're pretty much where it left us, so let's find out. Hey, since you're here, I thought I'd extend my offer once more. Are you sure Eternal Prismant doesn't strike your fancy? I told you I'm sure it's fucking rain. Get off my back about it, you bitch. Quit acting like it's some sort of paradise or something. I know very well what kind of miserable existence you're offering. So back off. Aw, no takers. You don't wish to be playthings for my enjoyment? Nah, I'm good, fam. Huh? I'm referring to you when I say play things. I mean, seeing the both of you together is just comical. You made some odd promise with each other, no? Precarious promises, which are mere acts of pushing your selfish agendas upon one another. Well, it appears you have mutual interest in the surface. In actuality, you are merely playing with one another. But the question is, who's really playing whom? Oh, oh, oh. oh what do you mean by that? Oh, listen to me, Pradola. I'm not getting through, am I? Of course I'm not. You're sinners for a reason. Such typical sinners. I love it. Oh, and that foolish girl is quite the cutie, isn't she, Zach? Well, I hope you continue having fun getting punished. I'm talking like... Isn't she like 13? It's you who's stupid. Play things. Damn, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Zack, don't talk to me right now. Let's go. Yo, this room looks sketchy as fuck, though. I wonder if this leads to the very first fork in the path. Yo, this place looks sketchy. What's wrong? I think I heard some sort of voice. Oh, jump scare. not uh permissible the faustage permits the air it says the jail room are dark and not visible faustage permits the air i assume there's dead bodies in there something is rotting so that means they're not dead yet never they're yes they are never mind yo this is dark hey what gives voices whoa yo this is freaky like, this is so much louder than what it is on the video. Again. Whoa, what the f... Oh, what's wrong? Something's, something resembling a human's hand is moving. A hand? One of the bitch's prison victims, huh? Yeah, what was that about? It's in such a shitty shape that its body crumbles just by stepping on it. This happened because he chose the eternal imprisonment offer that bitch mentioned. This guy's more worthless than tits on a fucking bull. Looks like there's people even dumber than me. Hey, don't mess with it. It's already dead. I I don't I doubt that. It's not alive. Huh? You think? Let's get out of here. We've wasted enough time with this bullshit. Okay, he... Well, yeah, she just said it wasn't alive. Dark red stained lump, it's visible. It's just our motionless. Yo. Why is it so dark? Oh, this is the third room. There were spikes on the third drawing on the wall at the very beginning. It's dark and barely visible, but the floor looks deadly. Yeah, it, uh, it does. <laughs> Yo, her laugh, like, freaks me, that freaks me out. Greetings, welcome, kids. Congratulations on making it this far. As you can see, make one wrong step and you'll fall to your spiky demise. But it's actually not as bad as I make it out to be. There are just two paths. 
Yep, the path for each just winds up in a slightly different place, that's all. Which path you take is entirely up to you. Well, punishment awaits beyond here as well though, right? Anyways, which will it be? Well, there are two of you after all. Isn't it about time you end this silly charade? You and your childish promises. It's almost laughable. I think it's an unfair promise considering you will die anyways. Well, enough about that. In this room anyways, the both of you won't be taking the same path. Hehehe, <laughs> best of luck. I'm waiting to see who gets condemned first. Were there any clues about... Which way I gotta go? Shit, why she gotta make everything so tedious? When the hell can I get out of here? I gotta keep my cool, the stupid cackling bitch. I wanna chop her to bits so bad. What are you still spacing out for? After you take care of that one, <laughs> after you take care of that one, be sure to kill me too once we're out. Fuck, man, you got a one-track mind. You don't seem willing to kill me after. It's because of that vacant look of yours. Oh, and my promise with you is not good until after we get out of here. I'm aware. Something about that vacant doll face stare of yours in the meeting. While you're at it, stop asking me stupid shit. Got it? But promise is a promise. Quit ordering me around so much. Okay. I'm sorry. Yo, I feel so bad for her. Let's get going. I feel like he, he knows it too. Continues on the other side. Looks like we can make it if we jump. Screw you, bro. Aw, oh, shit. All right. Want me to chuck you over then? Can you repeatedly fling me over to the other side? Well, if I screw up, then you'll fall head first. Flinging you is a cinch. The problem is I can't control how hard I throw you. In that case, let's not. Hey, what's the matter? The rope bridge could snap at any minute. I'm not sure if it's sturdy enough for me, let alone the both of us. Huh, there's no point unless we both get out of here. Damn. Um, hey, what's the plan? We're getting nowhere fast. We've no choice but to split up. Huh? We make it if we do that? I'm not sure. Not sure what the hell happens if we die. Maybe if, I don't know. What happens? Hmm? Oh, fine. Sorry for asking something so dumb. Maybe he has to fling me over and then he goes across the bridge. I don't know. Let's move. Yeah, see? You have like a... I barely make it across. A gun! Whoa! I just got shot, bro. Yo, that is so terrifying. That is so terrifying. Oh my gosh. Zach? What's this Zach and I are showing on the screen? Yo, he jumped over that. Hey, another gun? Oh, she's like, you know, ideas about getting herself killed. Oh, man, there's no point in thinking about this bullshit. So I just gotta jump over the floor and cross to the other side, eh? What the hell? Which way do I jump? Ah, oh, shit, bah. I'll get there if I improvise. Can't make that jump, fam. Shit, I can't jump that far. Damn, which way do I go? Go back, Zach. Oh, why? I can see you on the screen over here. Jack, jump the direction I tell you so you can pass through safely. Zach? I heard you the first time. All I need to do is go back, right? Yes, if you proceed as I say. Knock it off. I think I can get back on my own. Uh... Okay, I gotta go back. Take the lower right. I'll turn back, so quit barking orders. What are you doing? That's not the way I told you to jump. Lower right. Yes, lower right, you dimwit. Is this right? Yeah, this is right. I've got that memory. I'm trying to. Take four places to the floor and jump on the floor above. Zach? Yeah, yeah. 
All right, let's jump. Jump to the upper left, then jump up from there. I can see you on the screen, so I thought it'd be quicker for me to tell you. That, and if you don't make it across, it'll sort of be worse off. I'm not some pawn in the game of chess. Quit treat me like one. Did I make it? Yeah, let's go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yo, back. See, there's two rooms. Which way do I go? There's two different doors. One here and one over there. So it would seem. What's the plan? Other than to keep going, I'm not entirely sure. You sure you still ain't got any poison in your system? Your face looks spaced out. I'm fine now. You always look spaced out for me. I guess all we gotta do is keep going. Yeah, I know. I do I'll do what I can. Yo, do you want me to kill you? I don't even think you want to kill her, to be honest. Oh, Zach. He's pissed. The room beyond the iron bars where Zach is? I think. This is the fourth room. Zach, this room. Door's locked, and all that's here is a syringe. What the hell are we supposed to do now? Shoot up and get high? Syringe, eh? I'll go check it out. Filled with something. The needle sharp and appears to be the real deal. Oh, oh. If I remember correctly, on the wall it was a blue syringe. What kind of drug is this? I think the right one? No, because that's... That's yellow and green. But we finally get to meet in person. I hate you, Kathy. Catherine Ward. My goodness, both of you are here. That's more than I planned for. But I've got a feeling we're in for a treat. You sadistic bitch, what the fuck is it this time? Oh, Zach, why so hostile? Is that the way you talk to a beautiful lady? Some things never change. That's what makes me so hot for you. Zip it, how about you come down here so I can slice you up good? Silly boy. You're the ones who will meet your demise. Hey, what's your plan this time? I, uh, I don't know. Hey, Ray, what do you think a syringe is for? To inject medicine into the body? A bingo! The door in this room will unlock when each of you inject those syringes. One contains a healthy dose of vitamins, while the other has a not-so-healthy dose of something else. The something else has a potent chemical capable of lulling you to sleep and tormenting you in nightmares. Goodness, you may not even wake up. I would let Zack take that one. Oh, I can't even choose, never mind. As if I tell, I forgot anyways. Originally, this room was designed so someone would have to make the right or wrong choice. You saw how the path forked in the room earlier, right? If Fleck is on your side, you'll inject the vitamins. Otherwise, you'll inject a deadly chemical. A game of chance, you will. There was a miscalc on my part. There's two of you. Surely you knew this would happen. Oh, you unseemly child. A good head on your shoulders is all you have going. I was monitoring you. But just as Zack says, so dull. Well, that's enough boring chit chat. Since there's two of you, I'll make a special tweak to the rules. Swapping the syringes is allowed. Plus, one of you can inject both of them. Oh. However, make sure to inject it to the last drop. There will be hell to pay for any shenanigans. We'll never see the light of day again. And on that note, my lovely sinners, I wish you the best of luck. Huh. Zack. Hey, bring me the syringe. Yeah, I would, I would honestly let him take both just because he's a lot stronger of a person than I am. Here it is. Oh, hey, you know which one's lethal? Uh-huh. Thought so, I have no clue either. What's the plan? 
It would be a cold day in hell before I die in a shithole like this. That woman can suck it. Alright, want me to inject both of them? What? Do you really think you'd ever wake up again after that? That's what I'm saying. I think he should because he's like a stronger person. Or do you want to give it a shot? Me? <laughs> hell no. Anyway, we don't know which is drugged, so it would be better to know which one of us will be affected. If you don't, then I'll do it. There's no telling what's going to happen, though. Not sure what happens if you keel over and die. Questions as good as yours, Zach. What happens? I mean, if you or me die, then what the fuck are we going to do? What you swore won't come true. But that... I don't know. Ooh, it's your first time not knowing anything. I'm sorry, I just don't know. Oh, that's right, you have a death wish. Sorry I asked something so dumb. Dumb? That bitch is right, you and I are both playthings. Well, if I don't get the whole swearing to God thing, but as long as you die, you're happy, right? So tell me something. Is that vacant look on your face because you've surrendered yourself to death? She's gonna say something like, Really cheesy, bro. This sucks hard. I'm being played like a lifeless doll. Even so. I'm not going to play to that bitch's hands. Getting the hell out of here is my top priority. So. I'll do as you say. Huh? Ah, give me that. Yeah, I would let him take both. Wait, that's my syringe. Shut up. If you're going to bitch about it do, it, do it after taking care of yourself. But... The chemical looks dangerous, but it's not poison, right? If that kills me, that means you'll die soon after. In that case, it would be better for me to inject. Wait. No more waiting. Oh. Oh. It opened. What if one was a cure for the other? Hey, let's get a move on. Is he going to fall over? That's what I was thinking. What if one is just like a cure for the other? I don't even get to choose who took the sword. Ah, oh, shit, my head won't stop spinning. Whoa, what is happening? I'm seeing stars. Yo, what's happening? Are these like these games cutscenes? Is this the end of chapter two? Yo, what kind of freaky ass shit is this? Ah, oh, that makes sense. That's what I should do. What should you do? Or are you gonna hit us with an axe? I don't like you. Zach. Zach, are you okay? Whoa! Dude, that scared the hell out of me. What's wrong? I'm fucking fiending to kill. I'm gonna go crazy. So. I don't even know. I see. I was going to say something about the syringes, but I, I don't know. Do as you like. Oh, that's right. I forgot about you. Huh? But are you okay with that? Huh? You haven't made it outside yet. Besides, my face still has that vacant stare, does it? Are you threatening me after all this time? Huh? Uh, no. You swore to God that you would do this for me. And so this oath is yours as well. Now I'm not ordering you or asking a favor of you. I'm just asking. Is that okay with you, Zach? 
Man, you're dumb. Even a lifeless boar of a girl like you is hard for me to resist killing right now. I mean, if I were able to resist, then this wouldn't be happening to me now. But, even I hate lies. Catch my drift? Oh. Yeah? Good girl. Please? I don't... For now? Don't die. I don't catch the... I don't catch the drift. Whoa! What's going on? I can't let Zach kill me right. I gotta get away. Whoa! Leave me alone, Zach! Oh, I went through a door? I thought I died. Whoa, I made it? No, it's a dead end. Oh, what the hell, man? Did I die? Can I at least make it quicker? Game over? Oh, did he just get shot? Oh wow, I didn't make the right turn. Lit! Hello, glad you made it this far. Starting to erupt just when things were getting good. After all, this room is for execution by gunfire. I thought I, I thought I might as well shoot you. Take a look. See how the guns are around you? Each of these are fired with just a push of a little old button. Isn't that lovely? I hate you, Catherine. By the way, your falling out with each other was absolutely hilarious. Especially you, Zach. What an exemplary and perfect specimen of a sinner you are. The way that even if you struggle, in the end, you can't fight your maniacal tendencies. It's just so lovely. Shut. Uh, yo, we got shot in the arm, bro. Zach, stay away from me. You're dead. There, there. The bullet in your body has restored some of your rationality, but look at you. You can't resist. Told you. Huh. Hey, Rachel Gardner. Here you go. Is that a gun? As long as you have that. You should both be even Steven, right? Now, let's have a duel to the death. Whoever survives get an even more lovely death. What is the point of doing something like that? Silence, you boring brat. Why seek meaning? Where do you think that will get you? There's no way that would ever amount to anything for a sinner. That's precisely why there's no need for you to seek meaning. Was that a gun? Okay. Now put on an entertaining show. Oh crap, there's 40 save slots. I don't know, to be honest. Could it be that you're scared of- I didn't mean to- What? I tried to pause so I could think. Can you not break away from that insipid, boring child? What should I do? Okay. I don't want to kill Zach because he swore to God. But then again, if I say- If I don't shoot... See, it's either I pray that the bullet doesn't hit him, or it doesn't kill him, or I pray that he can resist. You know what? Zach's been a good guy so far. I gotta trust him on this part. What are gonna do with it? Make it quick. Even if you don't shoot, I can't resist killing you.
The sound of music is playing. I think I made the right choice. I won't do it. I see. I'm fiending to kill. Well, they killed Kathy, bro. Yo, this sad music. I'm sorry. Making you kill someone as boring as me. Yeah, you're right. It'll probably make me feel shitty. Didn't I tell you that if you're gonna shoot, then do it. At this range, you won't miss. I won't shoot you. <laughs> Don't you know what would happen to you? Oh, that's right. You have a death wish. I do, but this isn't right. This is what is in my heart. I, I made the right choice. That can kill me. But that woman. I will not be a puppet for that woman. I won't. I mean, both you and I are not her playthings. Huh? Killing and being killed are both our decisions to make. <laughs> After all this time, now you finally said something worthwhile. I can't hold back any longer. Hey, could you at least smile? Do it now. Do I, did I make the right choice? Oh, that's... Come on, man. Man, you suck. That dead look in your eyes. But yeah, if it was genuine, then I'd love it. Woo! Just imagining that I'm killing you puts a smile on my face! What? What? So much that I could even kill myself? What the fuck? What the fuck? Zack! Yo, for real, Zack! Huh? Absolutely horrifying. I take that back. You're not exemplary. Rachel Gardner is a half-baked sinner. To think that Isaac Foster is a suicidal fool ruled by desire. Oh, it saddens me so. Yo! Kill her, bro! Arg, the pray This revelation will cast a raid on my condemning parade. Rachel, if you were any more dull, I'd die. I don't recall you being in charge of deciding that. I, I can get no joy from punishing you. Oh, it torments me, Rachel. If it comes to this, then Zack would be better. And he would have looked so good riddling with bullets, too. If you can't pull a trigger, then you're nothing more but a half-baked sinner. So, why were you able to make it here? Oh well, it's rather boring, but you'll have to be riddled with bullets. Un... Yo, this soundtrack is amazing! Oh my, you lived through that? This can't be- you really are a monster that doesn't disappoint. How lovely! Yo, Zack, kill her, bro! Will you kill Zack? You have a gun! I remember- I have a gun! A shooter! Of course! I mean, I'm the only one who can punish such a lovely sinner, right? Yeah! That's my girl! Oh, go ahead and shoot. It's probably not even loaded. See, told you! I knew it! Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but that gun was never loaded from the start. Well, it's not like it matters. A half-big sinner like you could never shoot it in the first place. But I have to admit that I admire your spunk to turn the gun on me. Bang! Did I just see someone die? Like, she's not even bleeding. What just Did she just get shot? Alright, might as well punish him since his life's been prolonged and he's in prime form.
No. Oh, shit. I won't let you kill him. Zach is meant to kill me. What the hell? Where did she get that from? Bang! Huh? No, where'd you get that gun? Where did she get that gun? You, you slut. So this is your sinful true self. That's great, you sinful girl. I'll punish you. Punish you. Yo, where'd she get that from? I don't remember picking that up. I'll punish the demon lurking underneath that collected face of yours. Shove it. Oh, Zach. That's my boy, Zach. Huh? Stupid sadistic bitch. You've been shot, so I don't look so happy. Thanks to you, I want to kill. Kill and kill. Yo! I'm up and at him. Yo, Zach looks so cool. You're kidding, right? This is reality. Wake up! Ah, but he passed right out. Zach? Oh. Yo, what happened? Where did I get that gun from? I don't remember picking up a gun anywhere. Zach, are you alright? My stomach hurts like hell, huh? Yeah, oh, my bad. Zach, earlier, did you take joy in slicing your own stomach? Huh? You can make confused that sadistic bitch. I just figured it'd be better than killing your boring ass and being killed by that bitch of a jailer. Did you see her face? Yeah, that was gold. You did me proud. I feel like a new man. Really? I got a bit of a flesh wound on my stomach, but it's nothing. <gasps> all right, let's get going. You all right? Oh, pfft, this ain't nothing. Okay, but know your limits. Put a cork in it. Worry about yourself. Um. Whoa, are you stupid? Okay. Why would I want to press the bullets? That just doesn't make sense. Um. Alright, guys. That's it for today's episode. That was a great episode. Um. I don't even know if we've reached the climax of the story yet or not. Because things just keep happening that are amazing. Um, as always, guys, I'll post again. This game is amazing. Like, I'm like six days ahead, so I, I probably need to start double posting this. But anyways, guys, as always, until next time.